Beautiful is a drama film produced in 2010 by director Alejandro González Iñárritu. It was featured in the main competition of the Cannes Film Festival in 2010. A divorced father of two children, Uxba is his own man in the dark world of Barcelona. For the law enforcement authorities, he's an offender of the law, while for the undocumented migrants that he helps get jobs, he's an angel sent from above. After discovering he's terminally ill, Uxbal begins to prepare to die. In the first episode of the movie, the father is talking to his daughter before he is about to die. After that, we see a dead owl and the father talking to his son. The scenes feature total mirroring, just as the film does as a whole. And Inyaritu is all about that. We've grown accustomed to owls being used as a symbol of wisdom. Inyaritu reminded us that an owl is an emissary of the world of the dead, a symbol of death, a symbol of the dark side. I'm not sure whether it's coughing up a clump of far as it passes away, but the image of the nocturnal bird in the movie is the strongest metaphor. Inyaritu admitted himself that the role was tailored to Barden from the beginning, while the other roles were written for whoever could handle them, in the words of the director. Javier is a wonderful actor, strong, with different sides to him, deep and capable of reflection. And thank God those two men managed to combine their talents together to make this movie. Bardem and Inyaritu had always dreamt of working together, all the way back when the scene was just producing its first drafts. The director already knew perfectly well who the only person was that this role had to be played by. Beautiful is vulnerable in the face of various types of criticism to a large degree owning to the amount of boiling passions that its creator packed into a single story. Speaking as a whole, it's a film that portrays egregious social issues. Over two and a half hours, we get a distinct look and see the whole dark side of one of the most beautiful cities in Europe, Barcelona. While some bemoan its excess crudeness in aspiring to fully display of the way things really are, others on the contrary see this packed nature the upside of such inspiring dimensions. For some, what's presented is something far outside what they're familiar with, while for others, it's a natural part of their existence. Javier Bardem's Uxba holds nothing back but accurately displays the naked other side of life, in the beautiful and popular touristic city. Inyaritu didn't shy away from putting everything he could into it. Undocumented Chinamen, undocumented Africans, drugs, homosexuality, spirituality, and much more. Uxba is compelled to confront this on a daily basis, believing it to be his duty, both to the people he tries to help and to his family that he is compelled to feed. His street authority is all-encompassing and it extends to a colossal number of sad and pathogenous events going on around him. After casting his health off to the wayside, he finds out that he is terminally ill and is compelled to try to rethink everything that is going on around him over the time that he has left. In light of the strictly linear narration, while there are no particular events going on, but all that is shown is the routine complexity of everyday life. The rich image of the hero city is flipped on its head over and over again. It allows yet another intense rush of emotions to emerge. What Bardem comes into bodily or mental contact with takes on totally different colors and shades. The creation of a special look at everything going on. Stories of the numerous fates of wretched characters in the film come down to just one man compelled to constantly seek out ways to help them in their struggle to survive. And that is nothing to lament. As the director's father used to say, depression is a luxury that only the rich can afford. Javier Bardem gave his all to this role. The actor's heavy, almost ominous screen presence has always made him unique and one of a kind, thanks to his striking knack for reflection and his deep inner world. You can practice your entire life and you won't develop that. 
It's a gift that you either have or you don't. The artistic portion is not put on the back burner for the sake of the human factor, but plays the most important role in intervals when necessary for the purpose of maintaining the visual atmosphere. Intertwined at its root with sensations of internal anxiety among all of the characters. The unique wealth of numerous landscapes was for the most part a job well done thanks to Rodrigo Prieto's cameraman solutions, who was working with Iñárritu for the fourth time. Right at this point, the soundtrack on the other hand becomes noticeable, filling the separately shot episodes with a special emotional touch. This film truly made an impression on me, because there is something bigger beyond it, that there is something unknown and difficult to grasp, standing beyond it as death, standing beyond life. Every minor detail is well thought throughout, all the way to the heartbeat. And while the character's heart is still beating, the viewer's heart stops. On top of that, this film is inspiring. It inspires a person to be able to do what they weren't capable of doing before. It's more than just hard to write about. It's so difficult to grasp that words simply become powerless. After watching the movie, it immediately becomes clear why the director put an emphasis on the sounds and at times, a lack of sound. The operator gets a bravo in his own right for certain exciting visual aspects. This is actually one of those rare cases when everyone, the cameraman, the sound director, the actors, and the director have all gone above and beyond. They not only did their job in flying colors, but they've injected into a piece of themselves while not in any way encumbering the organic nature of the film as a whole, but rather collectively adding another point on the 10 out of 10 that this film has indisputably deserved. The film Beautiful seems to touch upon a lot and at the same time propels one to ask the question, what would each one of us consider to be a lot for our lives? And there is any reason to talk about proportion? The most difficult thing to say is whom the film's creators designed the film to be watched by. Nevertheless, it isn't often that we've come across high quality dramas lately. Ever more often, films have predominated on movie screen in which the person unfortunately plays the most insignificant role ever. That's what makes Beautiful wonderful since it's casts an extremely real, natural look at the things going on around us and the dreams which are left behind in the face of a large number of factors. We see the entire world in the eyes of a world-class actor. Yes, of course in this life, a wonderful monstrosity is not something you could ever encounter. Neither is there any such thing in this film, yet this film is truly beautiful nonetheless.